is my delusion. Who the hell invited you? Was it all a dream? And if not, what really happened? To see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies with ambiguous endings. You kind of weirded out, aren't you, kid? Well, are you? For this list, we're focusing on those films whose conclusions are open to interpretation. And as you can expect, this list contains major spoilers, so spoiler alert. Oh my god. And just so you know, we're excluding straight up cliffhangers because we've got another list of the top 10 unresolved movie cliffhangers. <laughs> Number 10, The Wrestler. A lot of people told me that I'd never wrestle again. Mickey Rourke plays a washed up professional wrestler who longs to romance the ring once more. Uh, Marlene, can I have some help in here, please? Put your arms down. After initial attempts result in a heart attack, he decides to give up his dream of an heroic return when his doctor says it'll kill him. Your heart has been through a lot. It won't be able to handle its strenuous activity. Heedless of his doctor's advice, Randy the Ram Robinson makes his epic comeback in front of throngs of screaming fans. Sadly, the audience is left wondering whether the doctor was right, and if the Ram survives his triumphant leap back into the ring. Number 9, Total Recall. You're dreaming. It's not just the ending of this movie that's ambiguous, it's the entire film. But you've got to want to return to reality. When he visits a special facility to have fake memories of his non-existent mission to Mars implanted into his brain, Douglas Quaid finds out those memories may already exist. You're having paranoid delusions. Quaid and the audience then spend the movie wondering whether that means he really was a secret agent on the Red Planet whose memories were wiped, or whether Recall messed with his mind. You know you're lying. By the end, Arnie's as unsure as we are. What's wrong? I just had a terrible thought. What if this is a dream? Well then, kiss me quick before you wake up. Number 8, The Wizard of Oz. Toto? Feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Dorothy and her dog Toto are whisked away to the magical land of Oz, where they meet a brainless scarecrow, a cowardly lion, and a heartless tin man. Oh, but I want to go home now! You've had plenty of time already. Yeah! Do not arouse the wrath of the great and powerful Oz! Oz is also chock full of witches, fairies, and flying apes. Because nothing that goes on in Oz is particularly natural or even explainable, we're left wondering if Dorothy really did travel to Oz, or whether she was just concussed by a passing tornado. She got quite a bump on the head. We kind of thought there for a minute she was going to leave us. Number seven, Shutter Island. Uh, pull yourself together, Teddy. Pull yourself together. In order to solve a missing persons report, U.S. Marshal Edward Daniels and his partner visit a remote island populated with all manner of crazy kooks. All I know is it's a mental hospital. But the criminally insane. But here's the twist. Turns out Agent Daniels is a patient himself. Oh my God. Committed for the murder of his wife. I love you so much. I love you like After she murdered their children, Daniels killed her, and now he's reliving the past. Permanent measures will be taken to ensure you can't hurt anyone ever again. Is he still crazy, or is it all an act to get a free lobotomy? You know, this place makes me wonder. Yeah, what's that, boss? Which would be worse? To live as a monster? Or to die as a good man? Number six, The Road. What do you eat? Whatever we can find. It's post-apocalypse now, and things are pretty bleak. If people aren't committing suicide outright, they're eating those who haven't. A man and his boy travel across the microwave landscape, just trying to survive long enough to find a safe haven. Due to a distinct lack of medical professionals, the father dies of an arrow wound, and his boy's fate is left uncertain when a new family invites him to travel with them. You can stay here with your papa, or you can go with me. Who can you trust in a world this desperate? I don't know you're one of the good guys. You don't, you'll just have to take a shot. 
Number five, the thing. A shape-shifting alien creature is on the loose in a remote Arctic base. The trouble is, it can take human form, which means no one is safe. How would you know if it was really me? After a series of increasingly violent confrontations, the beast is seemingly destroyed in a decisive explosion. Wait here for a little while. See what happens. There's only one problem. Either two of the surviving team members could now be the monster. Number four, American Psycho. I like to dissect girls. Did you know I'm utterly insane? Uh, uh, great tan, Marcus. Patrick Bateman is your typical Wall Street yuppie. He dresses well, he takes care of his appearance, and he occasionally commits acts of heinous violence. Because it's not just about the pleasures of conformity and the importance of trends, it's also a personal statement about the band itself. Hey, Paul! The police soon notice Patrick's behavior as his grisly crimes become increasingly brutal. Ah! It turns out Bateman may or may not have imagined the whole thing and might just be your garden variety crazy person and not a psychotic killer. My punishment continues to elude me and I gain no deeper knowledge of myself. This confession has meant nothing. Number three, Blade Runner. Rick Deckard is in charge of retiring replicants. To put it more bluntly, he shoots robots until they're dead. The problem is that these robots look and act just like humans, only more murderous. In the end, he tracks them all down and retires them peacefully. But why is he so good at his job? Could it be that he's a replicant too? Does it matter? Too bad she won't live. But then again, who does? Number two, Inception. It's a dream within a dream within a dream. Or is it? The dream has become the reality. Cobb is hired to use state-of-the-art technology to plant an idea in a target's mind. I am impressed. Tragic female figures are a common trope in Christopher Nolan films, but in Inception, Cobb's dead wife, Mal, keeps popping up in his subconscious. And in this world, that can spell disaster. By the end, everyone's had a good rest and Cobb is reunited with his kids. Or is he? Only the spinning top knows for sure. Before we unambiguously reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I've told you two stories about what happened out on the ocean. In both stories, the ship sinks, my family dies, and I suffer. True. So which story do you prefer? Number 1. 2001, A Space Odyssey Dr. David Bowman and friends are on a space mission to Jupiter to investigate a strange object. Because of a slight computer malfunction, the onboard AI brutally murders the entire crew except for Bowman. Do you know what happened? I'm sorry, Dave. I don't have enough information. Alone except for the murderous machine, he confronts the mysterious monolith and is thrown through space and time only to become an omnipotent space baby. Is he a god now, or did he just take a really good hallucinogen? The interpretation is entirely up to you. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite ambiguous movie ending? For more epic top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. There's no place like home.